Hello everyone, we're back again. Hopefully you guys like it. If you're new, subscribe, smash that like and bell notification. We're about to do here a comb over without no part. This is my brother. Let's get to it. First things first. First thing you want to do is brush down the hair. So that way you can have a clean candidate. Clean cut. This is my custom Slimline Pros. First time showing it on the video. I got it from B Clark Custom on IG. You can search him up, DM him, and you can say that uh, I send you guys to get it customized. Doesn't matter if it is a, a full customized clipper, trimmer, or a razor. You can also do if you're in a budget, you can do also a lid. But let's do this. This is our first ball line. Using the gamma shaver, we're gonna create another ball shave guideline. Just remember, do not go all the way to the top. Just leave a quarter of an inch, so that way, if your trimmers or your clipper are not zero gap, you can go back with a good trimmer. They got zero gap or a clipper, just to knock it out better. Sometimes we do create that harsh line with it. Sometimes we gotta be careful with it. Now using my custom wall 1919, I'm gonna show it to you guys in a few. Going with the no guard open about an inch. You can see it's the same guy, same guy did this work. This story is just amazing. DM him, please. This guy makes a, a great job on clippers this is my second year i believe with the clipper and i still got like 10 more coming in very soon so i really hope i can make a video for you guys about the station so that way you guys can see it so we're going here with a halfway no guard make sure you flick out use your corners if you're a beginner and then we're gonna close it out but like i said you guys talk to him this dude is just a mad scientist. I can't wait to receive my other ones. I got more clippers from him. I got another one from a masters that I got from him. Cordless. Uh, can't wait to show it to you guys very soon. So stay tuned. Now we're going with our number one open. About an inch. Following the same trail. And then we close it up. Just to soften up that bottom line. Now going with our half guard halfway open. And we're gonna soften out a little bit more that bottom line and then we're gonna knock it out, closing it down. If it doesn't go away, just keep in mind, you can go back with no guard open and just flick out. There you go. Half of uh, the half guard close. Just make sure you flick out. Now I'm going with our number two open and do the same step about an inch. Just make sure you flick out. You don't want to create a harsh line, especially that we want to go all the way out to the top. That's, this is not going to be our final guard, we're going to use our number 3 as a final, final guard and then we're going to use clipper of a comb. Now we want to close it up. We're going with our one and a half open. Just to soften up that bottom line, we're gonna close it up. Then we go back to our number one open, and then just detail after that downwards. Now we're going with our one and a half close, as you guys can see. There you go. 
go. Back to the one. Now using our number three open, you just want to make sure you scoop out, do not dig in. Later on, we're gonna do clipper of a cone and shear work as well. So I'm not too picky about the clipper of a cone. As soon as I do the shear work, it comes out good at the end. Just remember to scoop out. And then close. Go back in detail again. That's pretty much it. The only reason you guys see me doing the one side first is all that way you guys can see how I do it. And then go to the other side and leave the back and then blend it out and then match it up together, pair it up, and you guys will see. So now we're using our clipper of a comb. As you guys can see, when I go straight up, go 45 degree angle, and whatever sticks out, cut it out. And then you guys can see I left the trail in the back. So I'm using that to go to my other side, creating my ball line. This hair is a little bit tough to do just because in some spot of his head or the scalp, his hair grows in bunch bunch of places as like they say once by my girl one here and once by my girl like 10 so it's just a little bit tough but since I'm used to it he was one of my first people to cut hair when I started when I was 18 later on I'm gonna put uh, my backstory about barbering later on in the video so as you guys can see I'm following my trail with a no guard open following the same trail an inch Make sure you flick out, do not dig in. Pass a couple times so that we can get that clean transition. Then halfway. And then close it up. Just leave the back so that way later on you can blend it out so that way you can be consistent. And you can see right there, I pointed it out so that way you guys can see that I'm following my guidelines. So I'm right there, I'm using my number one open. And doing the same thing about an inch. You want to close it up? In the back, I just left it alone, like I said. Going with the half guard, halfway open, flick out, and close it up. Just remember, if it doesn't go away, go back to your no guard open and just flick out. Using our number two open, following the same trail. Then the one and a half open, then close. And 
went back to detail it. Number three open and following that same trail that I left but on the back. Just make sure you scoop out. The point here is just being consistent. Try to be detailed, perfectionist. Try to be that type of person, you know. Take your time, do not rush it. Um, just because you want to be able to see your errors, you want to take your time. Your client knows when you're paying attention to those small details. Those small details count. And that's where they realize that the haircut that you're doing to them is very important to them and to you as well. So that way, when they step outside, they feel great and excited about their haircut. And who knows if they could give you an extra tip on top of that because you're taking care of them how they're supposed to be. So take your time, rest your eyes, and that way go back to it. So that way you can fix it out and do whatever you gotta do to make it happen. Now we're connecting the back. Trying to be consistent as possible, trying to connect it. That's why I left in the back those guidelines so that we can connect it properly and we don't lose ourselves. Sometimes we go all the way around, start fading, and it can be a troublemaker and we just concentrate on all different type of area instead of one. Always concentrate at least in one spot before going to the other side or any other area that you want to work on. Just remember, do not over detail. Sometimes we like to over detail so much and just the fade just go higher and you don't want that going on and you got stressed out and quit i don't want you to quit i want you to keep going practice practice what you know and master it keep watching videos and create your own unique fade so if you're new please subscribe smash that like button and bell notification I got a couple videos going on in a few. I got my self cut video. I gotta work on my station video very soon. So if you guys need any other haircut tutorials, just let me know, drop it down, and I'll work on it as soon as I can. Man, the clipper just looks amazing. The detail work is just amazing. Look at the lever. They got the Puerto Rican flag, even the blade. It's just crazy. You, sh you guys can search them up on, on Instagram. B. Clark Custom. He actually is friendly, even though it might take a while to DM you back just because he's just one person. Just to let you a little reminder on that. It might take time because he's just a solo player. He's the one man army, what I like to say. But the quality on the clipper the paint job is just amazing the details on the clipper it's just a whole nother level i totally recommend him at any occasion anything you guys want dm him if you're curious to know what's the price or anything like that just dm him he can also find you the clipper the trimmer that you guys like brand new and work on it as soon as he, as he can Like I see, it's coming along. Looks pretty really blurry to me. And then going back to Clipper Bacon. Connect the rest. I just trying to debulk just a little bit. After that, I work it out with my shears. If this
this is your first time doing clip rubber cone, don't be scared. Um, my suggestion would be using the no guard open just to be a little bit more safer. Or if you don't trust yourself at all, that you feel like you gotta mess it up, I suggest you can slap in the number one open or the one and a half guard. Or if you got the detachables one and a half and then use that so that way you can be a little bit more safer just knock it out little by little until you get that desired shape that you're looking for don't be scared just try it out and see what happens say thank you to my brother that participated on this video uh, it was in the last minute type thing I asked him to participate um, it was like already like maybe so 12 o'clock at night I was doing this video and I want to say a little bit of a shout out to to my little sister she helped me out with the um, recording with the camera and whatnot so, so I, at least I didn't struggle as much and she was paying attention on every single detail for now so I just want to give them a big shout out for participating on the video. Now you want to dab the hair with water. We're going to divide the hair into three sections. We're gonna use the middle part as our guide, traveling guide, and then we're gonna cross check everything. We're trying to leave the one side just a little bit longer so that way you can get the longer side effect going short to the other side. That's how he likes it, so let's do it. do the guidelines or the parting just make sure you be as neat as possible doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's perfect what I do is I, I put in like my two fingers and that's gonna be my max length which is like an inch and there you go and I'm gonna use that that's a traveling guide and go all the way out to the back Always remember when you do shear work, you want to have a traveling guide. The look piece that you already cut, try to find it, the part that you cut, and use it for your new section so that way you don't get lost. Sometimes we go crazy, just start cutting, chopping, chopping, and then it's not going to be even. So try to find your guide when you cut it with your shears. Take a small section, divide it out try to find your guide and that's when you're done just double check everything cross check and good to go and I would have texturized his hair point cut it but I didn't do it I just didn't want it to make it shorter than what it was uh, it just looks better with longer hair
now we're about to cross check everything just to make sure it's kind of even at least just keep in mind that the one side is going to be longer than the other side so we're not trying to cut it at all the way we just want to double check that there's no long piece sticking out super long and the rest all even takes time and practice I'm not the best but I learned with you guys at the same time so now I'm using my custom slim line just to line him up just make sure you don't push them back try to be as natural as possible but also creating a sharp line now you're wondering how to do a sharp line just get your best zero gap trimmer and use it that's pretty much it if you're using a trimmer that is not zero gap, and what I mean by zero gap, it means the cutting blade with the top blade is almost flush. And use use it to your advantage to create that, that sharp line. Just keep in mind, if you're heavy handed, try to do it as light as possible so that way you don't cut them up. This is my razor custom from B Clark. The detail is just great. I love it. Hopefully, I get another one very soon. Um, I just like creating things. I just like to invest in my craft. This is part of it. With the straight razor, always remember stretch the skin as much as you can. Set the blade in a 45 degree angle. So that way your client doesn't get skin irritation. If you're wondering what type of blade I'm using, I'm using Derby. Normally I use Derby and I use the premium, but I'm getting hooked to the Durco Prime. They're really good. You guys should try it out. And I got also shopping blades. I'm getting desperate to use, but I use it later on and I try it out and see how good they are. But this is the cut right here if you're new subscribe smash that like button bell notification for more content coming up later on hopefully you guys like it it's been a great help for you guys as well if you guys need anything else just let me know i got you guys just comment down below thank you for watching and a big shout out to b clark customs search him up at instagram or myself at j.ramirez787 Here's the picture.